Yo, what's going on, YouTube? You know what? Um, Happy New Year. I don't remember if I said it in my last video. Then if 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 it's your first time listening, you know, to a video for uh that I've posted, you know, this year, well, Happy New Year. I don't want to have to say that on like every video because I'm going to try to knock a few out today, you know, before the day is over. But, um, yeah, man, Ronda Rousey, man, she got knocked out, like, December 30th, it's still like an aftermath and stuff like that, man. Just before the new year, you know, she takes another L uh, after taking almost like, what, 13 months off to losing to Holly Holmes. And me and a couple of the guys were like talking about it, you know, at this uh, night gig I got, man. You know, the side gig I got, me and a couple of guys were talking about it. And we were saying like, man, you know, um, after L, like a knockout loss, you know, a lot of fighters, man, they they like traumatized. You know what I'm saying? It takes a it takes a lot out. I mean, it takes a lot for a fighter to come come back after a, a beating like a knockout that Ronda Rousey had. You know, cause she was like up there, man. She's epic, man. You know what I'm saying? Pure epic, man. As far as like what she's done in in, in MMA and everything like that. And I know she's, you can say that she maybe rode on a coattail, you know, some of the guys and stuff like that, you know. Uh, that's not unusual, you know, for some of the ladies to do that, to get a little boost up, you know what I'm saying, you know. Get a little, you know, you know, um, get a little help from a, a male counterpart, you know, maybe like a husband or something like that, you know, and she's... Or, you know, she looks a little pretty or something like that. But you got to give the uh, Rhonda, you know, she was laying it down. She was laying it down. Um, she was doing the thing. Um, and I have to be honest, man, in my personal opinion, she's cuter than most MMA girls. So it was a winning combination, man. She was winning. She looked cute. Um, seemed pretty personal interviews and stuff like that. As far as this other stuff about her being like cocky and all this other stuff and poor sportsmanship, you know, hey, maybe she was building like a bad girl persona. Maybe she was just being herself, you know what I'm saying? I mean, let's be real, man. A lot of these fighters all want to be nice and liked and stuff like that. And, um,. I guess when you put yourself in a position where you're, like, kind of hated by everyone, I, the money came along with it, you know what I'm saying? As far as her being the bad girl persona, her, her, you know, she's being able to beat up, you know, Floyd Mayweather and the whole getting the support by Mike Tyson and all the other stuff. But she got paid, man. Even for this fight, she got paid $3 million, man. For this girl, a uh, Brazilian girl, uh, Amanda... Uh, Nunez, never heard of her. You know, I don't follow MMA or anything like that. You know, so I'm just saying I feel for Ronda Rousey, man. You know, I feel for Ronda Rousey. Her mother made a few statements and stuff like that. Uh, her mother, I don't know, so, it's, you know, you know, that's her mama. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk about nobody's mama, man. But her mother, you know, the, like a true mom, Defending, you know, her her daughter um, enlisted all her accomplishments and stuff like that. And she uh, mentions that uh, uh, Ronda Rousey never failed a drug test. She never failed a drug test, always paid her taxes, never been arrested, never been in rehab, has zero divorces, zero DUIs, zero children. And I'm like, bam, that sounds like something... uh, my mom would probably <laughs> would be saying, you know, if I had some kind of fall from grace, like, you know, she'd be listening to all my accomplishments and saying, my son is this, my son is that, he's a patriot saint, my son. And, you know, some moms be saying that by their kids and they've been, in, you know, like, so-and-so, are you kidding me? This dude robbed me last week, what are you talking about? He's probably nice to you. He ain't nice to me. Uh-huh. Yeah, but she's a fighter, man. She's a fighter. Does she have to uh, be liked by anybody? I have no idea. I I didn't I didn't think it was a personality contest 
to be honest. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and finishing up on this. But yeah, man, a lot of people uh, in the MMA community think she's like, you know, they just jealous. Let's be honest. She, they jealous, man. She's getting paid. I mean, she's in the UFC, the, UFC, the league itself. I mean, she's probably getting paid more than the guys are. I think she is. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you don't think there's going to be some haters? You know? Um, I, 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 you know, I, I like her, man. She's, uh, she's a, a lady for one. Um, she's, she's on the right team, you know, so that gives us, uh, guys who, you know, she's not married. So any one of us would maybe come up and uh, around the MMA circle or something like that. And you want those gyms, <laughs> wherever the hell she trains and was she, where she's from Idaho or something like that. Outside of that heavyweight she's d- dating. What was that guy's name? I don't know that guy's name. But um, probably Sweet Talker. Get her to change her mind. She's available. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, who couldn't root for that? You know? You know, but um, yeah, man. And then I, I just realized a lot of people had a lot of hate for her. They don't even know this woman. I I don't know her. I just heard she's a a jerk. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, she has a lot of good uh, accomplishments. She's in the movies. I guess she's doing movies. But, yeah, I think she's just uh, probably just go ahead and um, maybe retire. But I don't think she retired, man. I think she's just get back in there and just fight, man. Get back in there and fight. You know, two, three months from now. Go get some no vice. No, nobody's like that. Want anything, you know? What are people gonna do? They're gonna get PO'd. You know what I'm saying? You gonna get mad and uh, hate on her some more? You know, rebuild yourself. Go to Thailand or something like that. I'm going on an adventure. Anything. Uh. I wanna say get into women's boxing or anything like that. But hell, he could she could probably do something to women's boxing. You know, it's 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 novelty time. It's time to have fun. You 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 were on top. Now you're on the bottom. You know, now's the real comeback story. What are you gonna do after getting two losses in a row, two knockouts in a row, getting embarrassed? What are you gonna do? Get what I'm saying? It's time for that comeback story. None of none of that you know, hiding in in your shell, looking for a safe space. As soon as you step out, somebody's gonna be looking to smash you. You know, look, look looking to put their foot on your neck. That's what they're gonna do. It's like the little games where you had the you know you remember you had the arcade game, and those uh, little uh, squirrels or those uh, groundhogs would pop up and you bash them. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Rhonda. She's like the little squirrel just trying to come up from the hole, you know, trying to get the, well, squirrels don't go down. But the groundhog or whatever like that, the prairie dog, you know, trying to avoid those eagles, man. Those, those you know, predators trying to just like snatch her up and eat her. Uh, But, yeah, man. And Dana White ought to be ashamed of himself. What, what, what is he doing? Putting her in a championship fight after losing a championship belt. This guy is such a whack promoter, man. He's like, let the fans decide who fights next. The best versus the best. You know, you can't do that all the time, man. That's why you don't have no stars. You know, that's why they get blown out all the time. You know, they only last for a couple of fights. But she, yeah, she can talk junk and uh, come back and do something. Look what happened to uh, I mean Conor McGregor. He still talks smack, even after getting beat up. He still talking smack. He still wants the Floyd Mayweather fight. Maybe that's next for Ronda. Maybe Ronda could be the uh, Floyd Mayweather's fiftieth opponent or something like that. I I still want to see Ronda Rousey versus uh, uh Cl- Clarissa Shields. If they can make that happen, you know, later on down the line, I'll be happy. 
you know. All right, guys, I'm going to end it right there, man. Thanks for listening. Listening. Click uh, like or subscribe. Uh, don't forget to share. Um, all right, man, I'll catch y'all later, man. Let me know what y'all think about Rhonda, man. Should everybody be so hard on her? You know, well, you know why so serious with this, man? I don't get it. All right, bye.